if you have a website built with Elementor and you need to create a present table for the website, then this video is for you. Because in it, I'm going to show you how to create a present table for your website. If this is what you want, then keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So this is the website on which I want to create my pricing table. This is a demo a digital agency website I am designing. And I already have the pricing page. However, I don't have the pricing table as yet. So I'm going to show you how you can create your very own pricing table using Elementor. To get started, we are going to install an additional plugin to the Elementor plugin. And to do that, I go to the back end of my website. I'm just going to go ahead and open it in a new tab. I drag it right here because I don't want to lose this page. From here, I come over to plugins, click on add new. Under search plugins, I search for essential add-ons. I have essential add-ons for Elementor here by WP Developer. This plugin will add additional widgets to the Elementor page builder. So I go ahead and click on install now. It is installed, I activate. The plugin is installed and it will take me to the configuration page. I just go ahead and click on next. And this is where you want to enable the widgets you want to use. I click on view all. Under marketing and social fees, I make sure pricing table is enabled. For your web pages to load faster, you need to make sure that you disable all the widgets you are not going to be using on your website. For instance, if I don't want to use NFT gallery, I just disable it. Going down, I click on next, 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 and finally, next, and we are done. I click on no thanks. With that out of the way, I go to my present page, then I go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. Inside the Elementor editor, I'm going to add a container. So I click on the plus icon right here, then I go ahead and choose the first one. Next, I go over to widgets and I'm going to go ahead and drag in the heading widgets. I call it pricing plans. I want to center it. Next, I go back to widgets again and I'm going to go ahead and drag in the container widget. I drop it under the title. Next, I'm going to add in a new widget inside this container. So I go over to widgets, then I search for pricing. And I have pricing table here, which is coming from the essential add-ons for Elementor plugin we installed. As you can see, we have this EA right here, which stands for essential add-ons. So I drag it and drop it in here. Awesome. Upon adding the widget, you see that edit pricing table panel is activated. Under content, we have settings. This is where you can choose a pricing style. I drop down the arrow. At the moment, we are using default. We can also use pricing style 2 and the rest of them are in the pro version of the plugin. Let's see style 2. This is how style 2 will look like and I think that is what I'm going to use. Next we have list icons. This is where you want to enable or disable the icons. That is the green icons we have here. If I toggle it off, you see that they are gone and I think this is what I want to use. Next is title. That is the title we have right here. This is where you want to enter the name of your package. For this demonstration, I'm going to use starter for the first package, like this. Next is subtitle. If you have a subtitle for your packages, you can go ahead and enter it in here. If you don't have anything, you can just take it off, like this. For this demonstration, I'm going to enter one of the features of the packages. So I enter 10 posts per month. Next, we have icon. This is where you want to choose an icon that represents your package. To do that, I just click right here. From here, I search for check. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. Click on insert. Next, we have price. This is where we want to set the price for our package. And I'm going to go ahead and make it 59. Next, you can decide if the package is on sale by enabling this. As you can see, then you go ahead and enter the new price for your sale price. 
I don't need that, so I disable it. Next, we have price currency. This is where you want to set the currency for your package. I leave it as it is for now. You can also choose a placement for your currency. We have left and right. I leave it as left. If your present plans are a month, yearly, or whatever, this is where you want to enter that. Mine is monthly, so I leave it per month. And right here is the period separator. Everything here is cool, so I leave it as they are. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Next, we have feature. This is where you want to enter the rest of the features for the particular package you are working on. The first one, I'm going to go ahead and change it. I enter in my own feature. I'm making a social media marketing agency website. So everything about the packages is going to be based on social media stuff. I collapse it. I go over to the next one. I enter in my feature. Then I collapse it. I go to the next one. I enter in my feature. Collapse it. Similarly, I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of them. All right, I've exhausted all the five features. So if there's another one I want to add, I just go ahead and click on add item. Then I enter it in here. Next, we have button. You can decide if you want to display the button or not. At the moment, it is being displayed. If I toggle it off, see that the button is gone. I need it, so I bring it back. You can also add an icon for your button if you want. I click in there and I'm going to go ahead and choose arrow. And I'll use this very one insert the position is set to before i want to make it after and i can also increase the spacing in between the text and then the arrow like this i'll make it 10. button text is set to choose plan i'll change it to select plan if you have a link to the package this is where you want to enter it so let's assume i want to link it to the services page i'll just type in services I'll be given the perfect match. I just click on it to insert the link. Awesome. Next, I have ribbon. If I enable the ribbon, you see a bar on top right here. That is style one. I also have style two, like this. Style three, like that. And finally style four. And I think style four is cool but we don't need the ribbon on the starter plan so i disable it now everything is set the next thing i want to do is go ahead and choose the colors to match with the colors of my website so i go over to style under header we have title styles the first one here is color and i think the black color looks cool so i don't do anything here i go to background color at the moment it is set to this light green I click on the globe icon here to choose my global colors and I'm going to go ahead and use color one. Next is typography. I'm not going to change it because it's already using the typography from my team. But if you want to change it, you just go ahead and click on the pencil icon. Then you can choose whichever font you want from this list right here. I exit out of here. Next is subtitle style. You can change the color as well as the typography. It's already using the colors I want. That is black color. Next, I go over to pricing. I don't like the color I'm seeing on my pricing. So I click on the globe icon to choose my custom colors. And I'm going to go ahead and use color 5. Going down, if you have a sale price, this is where you want to change the colors and the typography. Since I don't have that, I can just go ahead and skip it. Next, we have featured list. This is where you can change the color to your text. So the color, I'm going to go ahead and choose color 4, sorry, color 5 to match with the colors of my website. Next, we have icon settings. The background color, I'm going to go ahead and set it to color 2. And then the background hover color, I set it to color 1. Oops, this is color 1. Perfect. Next is icon size. This is where you want to increase the size of your icon like this. I make it 40 or maybe 45 then the icon area height I make it 60 as well so that it will be circular awesome going down 
the icon color i'm going to go ahead and change it to black like this you can also choose the icon hover color if you want i leave it as it is going down we have the button the text color of the button is set to white i leave it as it is the background color i'm going to change it to black so i choose color 4 upon hover i'm going to change the color so i go over to hover the text color is going to be black on hover like this and then the background color i choose color one awesome now i am done customizing my pricing table the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate it to the number of packages i want to do that i just go ahead and right click on the pencil icon right here and i click on duplicate right click again duplicate meanwhile everything is stacked on top of each other i don't want it that way so what i do is i select the entire column under edit container i go over to layout then under direction i choose row horizontal i can also go ahead and center it awesome next i go ahead and change the name to my second package by clicking on the pencil icon to activate it the title is going to be business and then this one comes with 15 posts per month the price is 79 dollars instead of 59 and the rest of the features are the same it's just the number of posts per month which will make the difference finally i click on the last package the title i make it premium and it's going to be 30 posts per month the price is 129 maybe i want to enable one of the packages as featured and i'll do it to the business package so i select it then i go over to ribbon and I'm going to go ahead and enable it. The feature tag test, I want to make it popular. I want to change the background color. So I go over to style. Then I go to ribbon. Background color, I'm going to go ahead and change it to black. So I choose color 4. Awesome. Everything is set. I click on update. Let's take a look. Going down. This is how our present table will look like. Very neat and clean. You know, there's no space right here. So I go back. I select the entire section. Then I go over to advanced. I unlink the values and the margin. Then bottom, I make it 80. Then I go ahead and update. Let's take a look. Going down. Now it's much better. So that's it on how to create a pricing table for your Elementor website. Alright guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.